AP Calculus AB. This is a test example question. And this came off one of the free response section. This is a calculator section. And we have these two functions here. And the first function is this one. And it's the function e raised to the power of negative x squared. And the second function is this one here. And it's 1 minus cosine x. And the third part of the question asks us this really, really interesting thing. And it's not very difficult, but you have to be looking for this. So what they say to us is this. They say the region R, and this is the region R. This is the region R in here that we're looking at is the base of a solid. Each section perpendicular to the x-axis is a square. Find the volume. So what we're having here is this thing is not being re is not rotating, it's not spinning here. Instead it's being stacked. So if you can imagine this, what we have here is a series of squares that are going to be here. So one so one is right here. If I pulled this square out, here would be the top of this is the top of that square, but what you can't see is that it has right it's like this. So you're seeing just this part of it. But if you could look from the side, you'd see this. And then there's another one here, and another one here, and another one here, and another one here. And, we're and that creates a solid, right? So we're asked to find that volume. The easiest thing to do to start with is start with this kind of idea. And the idea here is that when we have the volume of known cross sections, what we want to do is take the definite integral, a to b, and we're going to talk about all this, of ax dx. AX, this is really, really important, is the area of the specific shape that you're talking about. In this case, we're talking about squares, right? So what this would look like is, and I guess I haven't said this. This is a, I did say this, but this is the third part of the problem. I found this intersection point, and this intersection point happened to be point, what the heck was it? Point nine four one nine four four. So you don't need to know that, but I just want, want you to know where I am getting my my interval here. So I'm going to find the area. I'm going to use this. I'm sorry, I'm going to find the volume. I'm going to use this. Say, okay, I want the volume, and the volume is the definite integral. This is zero here, and we're going to go zero to out there. So zero to this value that we had, this 0.941944 value here, right? Now what we need to do is think of what do we have, and we have a square, right? So the area of a square is equal to side squared, isn't it? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take side squared. This square right here from area of a square is this square right here. So I'm just filling this in. I'm going to put my dx here, right? And now all I'm saying is this. What is this here? And this is e to the negative x squared minus, because it's on top of, right? So it's top minus bottom, minus the one at the bottom, which is 1 minus cosine x. Now this actually is pretty simple, but people are going to mess this up, and this is kind of a free question on the AP exam, and I guarantee you're going to see something like this, so I want to make sure you have this. So we're starting with this from here. This was on the calculator section, so I'm not doing any more math here. I'm going to plug this into my calculator exactly the way it is, and I'm going to get out an answer, and the answer should come out approximately um, 0.461. So look at this for a second. These are the clues I want you to get. You're going to see something like this. It's going to say the region R is the base of a solid. So you see this base of a solid business going on here, and you're like, okay, this is what Charlie was talking about. This is where I use this. And I want you to go back to that in your head, right? This, each section is perpendicular to the x-axis is a square. From there, you ask yourself, start working on this, right? This A is this one, right? Area, and you're looking for your specific shape, your specific geometric shape here. So what's the area of a square? Well, it's side squared, isn't it? They could say semicircle. They could say circle. They could say, um, they could certainly use triangles, and you have to know those areas. But after that, it's really easy, right? This is right here, area of a square in pink. That's what this is. And we know that our side happens to be that, right? As X changes. So I hope this is really helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Appreciate it, you guys. And you can do this. Keep working.